Inside Google, if you go to Drive, click on Drive right there. And then inside Drive, you have this little folder icon right here. And basically what that this allows you to do is to create folders. You could create folders within folders. You could create folders within folders within folders. You could even create folders within folders within folders within folders. You could just keep creating folders within folders within folders within folders, as many folders as you want. You can create folders. Why would you want to create so many folders? Why would you want to add a new folder to your drive? Because then you could organize your stuff into folders. And instead of having just a big screen full of all these documents, you could have a document like a folder like school. And when you click on school, you could have something like summer 2013. When you click on summer 2013, you could have like your work for summer 2013 in school or whatever the heck you wanted to create with uh, your folders. So for this assignment, I need you to create a folder. Go ahead and click new folder in my drive and call this folder like school it would be great. And then inside school, create a new folder inside school. And this one would be summer 2013 or whatever semester you are in right now. Click create. And inside summer 2013, and you can see here, these are called breadcrumbs right here. I'm in summer 2013, which is inside school, which is inside my drive. Right now I'm in summer 2013. I'm going to click create a new folder. I'm going to create CIT 15, all right? And so now I've got this folder CIT 15, and I can put any work I want into that folder. So if I'm right here and I create a new document, new document, and this new document is blah, 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 and then I go up here and I rename this document file, rename to blah, 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 and click OK, and then I close this document, bye-bye. Uh, now inside my drive, inside school, inside summer 2013, inside CIT 15, I've got blah, 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 blah. That's my folder, my file there. And I could even, when I'm inside my drive over here, I could say, hey, take this file right here, conspiracies that were true, and move it over to, move to, right? Click this more icon, move to, and I could say, move it into school. And, oh, I got two school folders. Move it into summer 2013. Move it into CIT 15 inside there. There we go. Move. And now if I go over here and I look inside school, summer 2013, CIT 15, there's conspiracies that, was, that were true. So basically, you just want to take a screenshot. You're going to go down to your snipping tool, start, type in snipping. There's your snipping tool. Take a screenshot of something like that. Show me you've created some. Uh, you know, folders within Google Drive and upload that for credit on this assignment. That's what you need to do. One last thing I'll share with you is if you want to delete, right, you want to delete some of these uh, folders, you just come over here when the folder is selected, hit that drop down arrow and, you know, remove. Let's see what happens. Make sure I'm removing the right one. Okay, let's do it. And it's gone. 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 Can I ever get it back? I don't know. Usually there's a trash area. There's trash right there. So if I accidentally delete it, and uh, it, there it is, it's in trash. I can completely empty the trash if I want, delete forever. I'm gonna leave them all there just in case I ever need to come back to it. That is a lot about Google Drives and folders, and it's cool stuff, it's good to know about. Do your little assignment, upload the image, and you are done.